morning guys i hope you're all having a good weekend don't mind the fact that i've got like half my makeup done i've just been editing this video and i realized that i didn't actually film an intro for it so i'm just popping in here just to tell you what the video is about and then we can get going with it. Today's video is something that I've never actually filmed before on my channel. We're basically going to be testing out a bunch of kind of like salon treatments, I guess you could say. I was actually going to do this video and just like do it and not even film it and make it a video because it's all things that I've been wanting to try and wanting to do anyway. Um, but I thought it'd be fun to do it on camera and actually test these things out together. So I basically did my hair, my lashes and my nails in this video. As I said, it's all stuff that I've not tried before um, or products that I've not tried before just everything about this was completely new to me obviously we're currently in lockdown there's no sign of lockdown being lifted which means no trips to the salon to get my nails done to get my lashes done any of that not that that's obviously the most important thing in the world but I thought it would just be fun to do a little like self-care day together and test these things out but yeah I just thought it'd be a fun video to just like do something a little bit different if you do enjoy it please do give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below leave me a comment like tell me how your weekend's going what you're up to this week um what your favorite treatment was if you've tried any of these like whatever it is i always love chatting with you guys in the comments so come and say hi really hope you guys enjoy this video um i can always do a part two and try some other like salon beauty treatments as well if you're interested um and without further ado i'm just gonna get into it okay first thing that we're gonna do is my hair i'm actually really scared to do this because i've never done anything like this at home before um i do get my hair done at a salon i go to katherine at bowden in sale if anyone's based in manchester 10 out of 10 recommend going to her she's always done my color and i absolutely love what she does it was actually katherine that recommended this to me as well because because i have semi-permanent color my hair color does tend to fade after a couple of washes anyway and my roots are also so desperately in need of some TLC at the minute. So this is what she recommended. It's the Wella Color Fresh semi-permanent color which just looks like so i got this on look fantastic i think it was only about 11 pounds so it was pretty affordable it just comes in a little bottle and then it also comes with some gloves so from what i understand i just need to wash and shampoo my hair get it like wet towel dry it and then pop this in and leave it to develop for about 20 minutes i'm a bit scared <laughs> i'm not gonna lie Catherine did reassure me that it's pretty like simple and easy to do like I shouldn't be able to do this wrong so fingers crossed it goes well I'm hoping it'll just like top up my color a little bit and um, particularly towards the ends where it tends to fade the most and hopefully it just like clings to my roots a bit as well but yeah this is currently what my hair looks like I don't know if you can kind of see where my roots have come in so I've just shampooed and washed my hair and just towel dried it I just did it over the bath because I'm going to hop in the shower after I've put this on and let it sit I don't really know what I'm doing with this like I assume you literally just pop it on and just run it through your hair and it should be fine okay I'm literally just going to oh my god that looks dark it's going to be really hard to do in the viewfinder let me just like get the basis on <laughs> I mean I don't really think it can go dreadfully wrong that's what I'm gonna tell myself but we'll see how are you supposed to like get this really even I feel like it's not actually gonna really do a lot to the color so I'm assuming like it doesn't matter if I don't get every single strand I mean at this point like I am getting it everywhere oh no it's like what is there to lose now like I may as well just smother my whole head in this okay I'm gonna leave this on for like another 10-15 minutes I'm gonna wash it off get a shower and then I'm gonna style it and curl it and dry it with my Dyson air wrap and we will see what the outcome is okay so I've just finished my hair as I said so I just rinsed out the color conditioned it and then styled it with my Dyson air wrap I actually feel like that's made so much difference it was actually really easy to wash out I feel like it's kind of just done just what I wanted it to do like it's just enhanced my color a little bit again it's just made it look a little bit more fresh a little bit darker again and um, I feel like it's definitely clung to my roots really well as well like it's definitely actually made a difference to my roots thank god so yeah this is the finished hair I mean I've not actually got any fake tan on at the minute so I feel like I'm suddenly looking quite 
pasty but I can't wait to actually like be able to do my makeup and take some pictures and whatever else and just have like fresh hair again like it just feels so nice and so lovely to have like what feels like fresh color I'm definitely going to use that product again that was actually really easy to use considering that I didn't even like try to make it look good or try to like brush it through or comb it through like I literally just slapped it on with my hands and I feel like it's done just what I wanted it to do. Next thing on the list of treatments that I want to do today is my lashes. So I usually get lash extensions done by Shauna. Um, obviously I can't go and see her at the minute, she can't do my lashes, so I've not got any lashes on at the minute. So I'm actually going to attempt, this could go dreadfully wrong, but I'm actually going to attempt to give myself a lash lift. I've had this kit for a long time because I actually wanted to do this video in the first lockdown like nearly a year ago um, and I just never got around to doing it because this actually took a while to come so this is the Diablo I want to say it's pronounced the lash lift eyelash perm kit this is what it looks like inside so we've got a nourish a cleanser perm fix that's a lash adhesive and then we've got some lift pads and a lash comb okay so I'm going to start with the cleanser and it says to just like cleanse your lashes which is what I'm gonna do so from what I understand the smaller the pad the more of a lift you get so I'm gonna go with the smallest just because if I'm gonna do this I want them to be like properly curled I'm gonna go ahead and take the lash adhesive and I'm literally just gonna like coat this on the side that sticks to my eye it's actually really really thick and then I need to stick this on my eye okay i'm guessing that will do okay i'm gonna do this part as a voiceover because i actually got so consumed trying to concentrate doing this that i forgot to actually speak and explain what i was doing so i popped the lash pad on my eyelid and then i just went ahead and put some of the lash adhesive on the pad this was actually so difficult because the lash adhesive was really really thick so it wasn't actually really applying a lot to the pad at all so when I was trying to comb my lashes up which you can see me doing here they just weren't sticking very well this eye ended up doing a lot better than the other eye it might also be a combination of the fact that my eyelashes just aren't particularly long but I really really struggled to get them to stick to the pad for some reason they just weren't wanting to stick at all like you can see i was trying to put more lash adhesive on my actual lashes that feels so strange i mean i feel like that's as many lashes as i'm gonna get on there Do you know what? i actually have way more lashes than i thought i did as well it's so great the next step is then to add the perm this feels so weird like i can hardly blink i mean some of them have now come off the pad i feel like i didn't stick them down very well okay so you're then supposed to leave that on for 15 minutes so <laughs> i'm gonna leave it on and let it sit and i think i'm gonna do the other side as well just so that that's also on the go and then we can do the fix then remove it and then it should be done my lashes are just not sticking this side like i'm not really sure what to do i feel like this lash adhesive is just like it's not applying enough lash adhesive to the pad like it's too thick it's really really thick it's really difficult to actually get them to stick on this side it's better but on this side they're just not wanting to stick at all so i'm just gonna have to make do with that and fingers crossed at least some of them work okay so i actually went ahead and just finished that off camera because that whole process was really starting to stress me out i actually do feel like it's made some difference i don't really have like the longest or fullest lashes anyway i'm actually using revita lash at the minute on my lashes just because i'm trying to grow them and get them a little bit more like full again i feel like because i've had individual lashes on for a really long time they're just struggling to actually Actually, like grow again but I feel like it has done something I feel like you can't really tell from far away but I'm hoping like when I do makeup the whole point of me doing that was so that I could do just mascara and not like a proper lash sometimes that's kind of what I'm hoping I'll be able to do overall I'm gonna class that a somewhat success okay then the last thing on the list is nails these nails can we just take a second they actually look horrendous so on my nails at the minute I actually have a build in a bottle gel if you've not tried build in a bottle and you like having short nails it is the best thing on the planet I'm obsessed with it and um, it was actually my nail tech Phoebe that got me into this I go to preen in stockport if anyone wants to know yeah she got me into this because i remember after the first lockdown i went and got my nails done around my birthday time last year and i obviously hadn't had long acrylics on in a really long time because we would had that first lockdown for quite a while 
and I just could not adjust to having long nails again like she did my acrylics the normal length that I would have them and they just felt so long on my nails so I went back in and I was like look like we need to do something that's going to keep my nails looking cute but it's just short as so she told me to get building a bottle I'm obsessed with it I absolutely love it like this is my natural nail length now like that is my natural nail all of that so it's kind of annoying because I'm gonna have to take these off and trim the length down on them which is annoying because I've worked hard to like get them to this length for so long but to be honest I just want to cut them down anyway they're just feeling a little bit gross and a little bit crusty and they just need to go so I've got some bits to do some gel nails so these bits were actually very kindly sent in PR from Miley um quite a while ago so we've got the lamp um, we've got the Autumn Winter Collection of Gel Polishes. I've also got a nail drill, um, should I need that. And then we've got some like prep and removal stuff and some cuticle pushes and things like that. So I'm going to set this up and try and do my nails. Okay, so again, I thought this would be easier to do as a voiceover. Um, so the first thing I actually did was went ahead and filed my nails down with the drill. I do just want to point out, like, I don't necessarily recommend using a drill on your own nails at home just because I feel like it can wreck your nails a bit I feel like I should have said that at the start of this video like I don't necessarily recommend like anything that I'm doing in this this was just me trying things out um so yeah if you are going to use a nail drill just be really careful because I feel like you can definitely actually really damage your nails um drill like using a drill on them uh, but I just went ahead and filed them down and then I just put some of the like acetone gel remover from Miley um, on some pads and then into foils and I basically kept them covered for about 20 minutes and then I just took each like little bit of acetone off um, one at a time on each nail and then just again filed them down with the drill just because the building the the building of bottles are really really like hard thing to file down with just a nail file which is why I used a drill um, but I just made sure that I was super careful and made sure that I wasn't actually drilling like obviously my nail bed properly it was literally just the gel polish so once all of that was filed down I just went ahead and did my cuticles which is probably like my favorite thing of doing nails like I just find it so satisfying so I just pushed them back and then just trimmed them down with a little cuticle trimmer so this was how my nails were looking um, after I'd done all of that and then it was time to actually paint them and do the gel. So I started with the base coat from My Lee. I don't know if my um, lamp was broke but only one side of it was lighting up which was a little bit um, annoying because I had to basically do each nail almost like individually in the end to dry it. Um, but I just went ahead after the base coat and did the colour. So this was out of the Autumn Winter Collection, this shade. Um, I just wanted something similar to what I had on before. I always just do something really neutral on my nails just because I know it's going to go with everything. Um, painting your nails is actually really difficult. Like I've not done this in a while and I feel like I kept making such a mess of it. But I just did the best that I could. I ended up doing two layers of this in the end just because I feel like it needed two layers um, and then yeah I just pop them back in under the lamp just to dry them off and then after that it was time to do the top coat so I just went ahead and popped some of that on and then again let them dry under the light um, and then I just all I had to do to finish was apply some of this nail prep and polish wipe it just basically got rid of like any of the sticky residue on the nails and this was the final result I feel like they actually turned out really cute they feel so much better as well Okay, so that was everything that I tested out treatment wise. As you can see, like I feel like my hair just looks a lot like healthier and just a little bit more fresh now. I'm actually really happy with my nails. I mean, they're only like little baby stubby nails, but I think they look really cute. And my lashes, you can't really tell on camera now because I've put a wing liner on, but it honestly made so much difference when I woke up this morning just having a little bit of lift and curl to my lashes. So I'm really happy that I did all of those treatments yesterday. Let me know in the comments which one your favorite one was as well. I love you guys as always. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.